Hi everyone, I'm Kim and I want to thank you for joining me. It is so exciting to be cooking and sharing these recipes with you. And today I'm really excited because I'm going to be using one of my favorite cooking creams, the Santa Fe Blend, which is full of robust flavor. I've been incorporating the cooking creams into many different types of recipes these last several weeks and I cannot get over how versatile this product is. It is magnificent. How many products on the market are this simple and easy where you can take a container or a package of something and incorporate it into one of your favorite recipes and come out with a fantastic meal? Not too many. That's why this product is so great. Philadelphia cooking cream because you can incorporate it into soups, stews, casseroles, dips, salads, desserts. And today I'm going to be using it in one of my favorite recipes, Santa Fe burritos. So we're going to be using the Santa Fe blend to make the Santa Fe burritos even more flavorful and delicious. So let's get started. Now we'll make our Santa Fe burritos. And the first step in our process is to warm up our refried beans. So first thing we're going to do is that we have a skillet here. We're going to spray this with cooking spray. We're going to add in one can of about 15 ounces of refried beans. And we're going to warm these up over a low heat. The second step is to make our rice. I have one and a half cups of water here which we want to bring to a boil. And we're going to add one bouillon cube for flavoring. I prefer the soft bouillon cubes, but you can use whatever you want. We're also going to add a couple tablespoons of fresh cilantro. And since we, and we're also going to add one and a half cups of instant rice. I have one and a half cups of water, so I'm going to use one and a half cups of instant rice. If you want a little more rice, you would use the same amount of water to rice. So we're bringing this to a boil. We're mixing in the bouillon cube. We're going to add the rice, mix it in. Turn off the heat and let it set. Okay, the third step is to get our ground turkey going. So, we're going to spray a nice big skillet with cooking spray. We're going to add in two cloves of minced garlic, half a cup of chopped onion, two tablespoons of cilantro, fresh cilantro. We're going to add in the ground turkey, quarter teaspoon of ground pepper, and one teaspoon of salt. And we're going to saute this until the turkey is cooked. Our rice is done and we want to simply stir it up just a little bit with a fork, fluff it up, and then cover it up to keep it warm. Our ground turkey is cooking over a medium heat and we simply want to stir it up to make sure it doesn't clump together. Our ground turkey, onions, garlic, cilantro is now cooked and we're now going to incorporate the star of our show, the Santa Fe cooking cream, into our ground turkey to make it more flavorful and robust. And we're going to use about half of this container and mix it into our ground turkey. This is so creamy and smooth. It's incredible 
the way it goes from container to recipe without much difficulty. And we're going to Move simply goes mix in. this in. There's beautiful little red specks in there from the red bell pepper inside of the cooking cream. It smells magnificent. So now we're ready to create now we're ready our burritos. To assemble our burritos, and I'm using a spinach wrap here, which has a tremendous amount of color to it. I'm going to take one sixth of the beans that I have here, spread them around on top, keeping an edge around the side for rolling. I'm going to take several spoonfuls of rice. I'm going to take several spoonfuls of our brown turkey with our delicious cooking cream. I'm going to take about a tablespoon of cilantro, which adds a tremendous amount to any type of Mexican dish. It's, got a it's just robust in flavor. And I've got about two tablespoons of the Kraft Mexican cheese, the authentic blend, and I have a small amount of cooking cream which I'm going to dab right out here on top. And we're going to bring the two sides up. We're going to roll this. This is a big fat burrito, California style I would say. Brings back many memories in California. We're going to put this in a piece of aluminum foil, wrap it up, and put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. And we will do this with the other five burritos. Our burritos are all rolled. I've rolled them again in aluminum foil. And now we're going to put them in the oven at 300 degrees for about 15 minutes. This is our finished dish. We have a spinach wrapped Santa Fe burrito with guacamole on the side and a little bit of salsa. This is a very simple, easy meal to make and it's been enhanced by the star of our show, the Santa Fe cooking cream. So let's give it a taste. Now you can use a knife and fork on this, but of course the way to do is to dig into it and give it a sample. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. And the cooking cream just comes through in the burrito. You can taste it in the meat. It is wonderful. This is a great product. Try it you won't be dissatisfied. Try the recipe. Thank you for joining me and have a great day. Bye.